today we're gonna go ahead and assemble this freaking giant rock tumbler. Uh, I have a huge project going on over there. I got a building uh, 32 by 44 that needs a concrete pad. I could pay somebody to come in and put in the freaking concrete floor, but uh, you're probably looking at about six, eight thousand dollars to have somebody do it. I can do it myself for about fifteen hundred dollars worth of concrete. The thing is, I got to do it in small pours using a uh, rock tumbler concrete mixer like this. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and assemble this. And then we're going to start doing uh, pour after pour after pour. It'll take me about six weeks to get the uh, entire floor done. Where I could do it in one day if I paid trucks to come in and have a crew do it. But $1,500 as opposed to anywhere from six to $10,000. I'm going to go with the $1,500 thing. Uh, I went to Harbor Freight the other day. went to buy their uh, concrete mixer. They were completely sold out of them. So, uh, went out in the parking lot, pissed off, checked the uh, local stores. They didn't have any concrete mixers anywhere in town. So I got on Amazon, typed in concrete mixer, and it came up with this one. Five cubic foot concrete mixer. $289. So I went and bought it. So it'd be two weeks for it to get here. It took three days and showed up. I don't know how the hell they do it, but three days it's here. So now we got to go ahead and put it together because next Tuesday I got to start pouring concrete. So let's see what's in this box.
All right, so my concrete project is finally done. Uh, this little beast of a machine was an absolute lifesaver. Uh, we were able to pour um, 675 bags, I think, was the total count. It took us almost seven weeks to get it done. Uh, we poured a slab for 32 foot by 44 foot long, roughly three inches deep for the floor of the barn. I'd show you the finished product but uh, it's an ongoing process. I don't want to go and record in there right now because that's for another video. You'll see the finished floor uh, once the barn is done and I finish up that video. Uh, total cost, I think we're sitting around $1,900 to do that entire freaking floor. Uh, saved me tens of thousands of dollars. I, uh, I think I very much lowballed the estimates when I first started this video of around six, eight thousand dollars what it would have cost to have a professional crew come in. Talking to some people that had similar size pads, we we're looking at probably anywhere from fifteen to twenty five thousand dollars to have a professional crew come in and pour it depending on how thick you wanted it. Now my floor is by no means professional. There's some waviness to it. There's a few gaps here and there. Things didn't quite turn out exactly perfect. But it's all right. We're not concrete people. I've never, not even construction. I don't build buildings or anything. I turn wrenches for a living. I run a, I'm a shift foreman for a maintenance shop. It turned out great for a bunch of amateurs that were on a very, very tight budget. Uh, <clears throat> now, what we did in order to accomplish the task using this thing, because we didn't have trucks coming in, uh, what we would do, we would form off a very small easily manageable pour site. We would level that, prep the surface, get it all ready for concrete, start mixing, pouring. You know, one person would be running the wheelbarrow, one person's dumping concrete in here, one person's freaking floating it and leveling it. And we'd get that section done, we'd have this section over here formed up, we would level it, prep the ground, get it all ready for concrete, pour that one, then we'd move over here and we did it in a patchwork uh, area. So that this pad, this pad, this pad over here, and this pad over here, they could freaking set up overnight, then we come in the next day, knock them formed out, move to an area next to it, and it just ended up being kind of a patchwork. And then the gaps that were left were the new slab met with the old slab would be our expansion joint, so you get your crack area if the ground heaves and all that. So hopefully it will last the test of time. I'm very happy with it. We saved a lot of money. It was extremely back-breaking labor. That it was a it was a painful six or seven weeks however long it took so happy to get it done because it was up up at the crack of dawn every day on the way into into menards to get uh, uh, 70 80 bags of concrete which is all i felt comfortable hauling at the time i didn't want to overload my my old beat up freaking equipment that i have bring it back pour concrete for six eight hours next morning up at freaking 6 a.m Back into Menards, get another friggin' 70, 80 bags of concrete, pour for six, eight hours, go to work, come back the next week, do it again. But we've got a nice floor. The barn's really coming along. We'll have that done here in the next few weeks. And I'll be able to have that video out, show you the actual finished floor with all the stalls on it. It'll be cool. So, uh, we'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on notifications so you see when I release another one of these pointless videos. Hit that like button. Bye.